Welcome everybody to another word according to me, AJ Tripp, and this one is the review of NBA 2K18. I got a little thoughts on NBA Live 18 as well, but let's talk about NBA 2K18. I am a big fan of the franchise. I've gotten the franchise, wow, maybe for like the last 10 years or so. If, if, I, if I if I if I have had a a a um a a system a PlayStation, whether it be the PlayStation Two or PlayStation Four, I have gotten the NBA Two K video game that has come out. I I enjoyed it a lot for this. Now it it has changed over the years uh and it's and been, mostly for the good mostly for the good there was uh the the uh the, one of the original games that, that it was I, I enjoyed the hell out of that uh then they it, uh when it get back to like around 2012 2013 it, it it wasn't that good in particular for me because when you would create a player he wouldn't he would score he'd be 4.8 points a game, and then you'd be like, wait, wait a minute, I made him to be at least a little bit better than at least that, so, and now we have it where, you know, it's you know, back to kind of old school where you create a player, it's, you know, and you create him to be good offensively, uh, you know, he's up there and you can score points something like that, so. The one thing I would maybe like to see them go back to from the old school games is like the type of player that they, they you know, you know they would be, you know. Maybe instead of, maybe instead of like when you create a player, they they, they automatically just make you, you know, automatically give you like it starts like you, like you don't start from scratch. They give you like an already built player, and, and that's like well no, well, no, no. If, if 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 you're creating a draft class, which is what you can do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I, I think that's that's perfect. But creating a player, you should be able to start from scratch. I think that's what you want to do. You want to start from scratch, build them up, so that, and then things like that. And then like, when you get to like to their, you know, to their attributes and their tendencies, then yeah, then you should be able to bring out. <laughs> like you want like. You, you, you should have, uh, they had three options, and I, I think that would be the first thing. Bring, bring out the three options, right? Make, make like, you know, point guard. You want to uh, shoot first, point, pass first, point, and then defensive point, right? You know, that's what you do. Same thing with shooting guard. Shooting guard, shooting guard would be a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a shooter. A pure shooter, and then you'd have a slasher, and, and then like the, again, like in the old game, and then you'd have the defense. Same thing for the small forward. Power forward, yeah. Or again, you'd have, um, uh, maybe you'd have um, post player. Um, what, is, what do they call it now? Um, what do they call it? The like the out when you play out in the in the thing, whatever. I mean, you just you know play out. Uh, um, I can't re re get a call. I, I swear, I, it's just crazy. Uh, whatever that is called, and then you have defense. And the same thing for being center, post center, defense, and then the person that steps out. Uh, stretch. There you go. Stretch. Stretch. Stretch four. Stretch five. Yeah, that's what you. That's that's what. That's what you do, and, and, and then you can make your your players that way. Uh, yeah, and then like, and then and then like, you know, and then by doing that, you can, when you select that, you automatically given like a predetermined number of stats, but then you can raise them and up them a little bit, right? Raise them up them a little, bit. and still, it still wouldn't change. You know, it still it, it still wouldn't change, like um. What you are, because that would be your tendency. Yeah, that would be your, your tendency of what you would do. You, your, your, your tendencies, you know, would you, would be to be a stretch four, or would be to be um, a, a a a a a pure shooter, you know, 
or to be a slashing a slashing wing or a uh, a uh, a uh, scoring point guard, something like that, right? That's the way it should happen. You know, not the way it, they do it now, where where if you put in a thing, guy already got a name and he's a center, and like, well, I don't want to create a center. I want to create a point guard. And then you got to go back and run out of the stuff. They, they, they have to change that. Go back to the old school way uh, of doing that. Um, um, I think another thing that I think, uh, another thing I like, and one of the things I like, and I really wish like Madden would 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 look at NBA 2K the way they do their creative players. And when you create a player, it are, they go into a slot, and they stay in that slot. So when the NBA later on this month, when they up update the uh, update the roster, right? Uh, they may have already updated the roster. I didn't see, um, but uh, if they update the roster, you know, because the Camelo trade and the Camelo the Camelo Anthony trade happened. Right, and, and uh, there have been some other things. Some people have gotten some long-term contracts, things like that. What 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 was Russell Westbrook did? So we update those with that information, right? You, you you can just go back and you can just plug in your um back back in your creative players from the teams that you had them on. And man, I wish Madden would do that because Madden just create them and then like the, and they update the roster every week and so on, and it's just. And then, like, you get to them all over again. So, I really wish Madden would take that. That's what the NBA 2K has a lock, has the lock on. So, I am so glad that that, uh, that they did that. Um, and they, and they kept that. You should always keep that. They all, they've still got the, the rookie draft classes, and there are still a whole lot of people out there making sure that people like me and other people do, that they create the draft cl uh, classes, uh, I get best as much as they can. I'm sure there are some that probably aren't because there will probably be some underclassmen that that um that that, that, that stay in school, uh, things like that, and there might even be some that that don't. So it's so totally okay. Um, some some that you think might stay that won't, or some that you know will have a big year. You know, they freshman sophomore year they were just role players. Junior year, they became a star, and and, and obviously they, they they don't know that, you know, and then so, so I, I understand, and I thank them all for doing that. And I'm glad the feature is still on there. So that's another thing I am glad for. Another thing I'm glad is I love like the expansion, um, um yeah, expansion on um features going on there. And one of the things I do, one of the um, one of the things that I have is the expansion feature where you can go create a season. The Las Vegas Aces, like I don't know if, if the people, if, if if this was done by anybody on, on the two two K development team, or if the people out there, you people out there who play it as well, and if you guys say what is it, you know something like that, Las Las Vegas. You know, you know, needs a team and needs a team right name, and you guys created like your own thing. So that, so that was so good, and so awesome, and, and I'm so glad so I used some of the online thing. And I'm gonna do that with WWE 2K18. I'm gonna uh, use a couple of, uh, uh, you know, they're gonna create some players out there, for the, and I'm gonna borrow them and put them on my squad, I'm on my roster. So, uh, but yeah, I'm so glad that they've done that and. So I think the, the the Aces and I think another team too as well the Texas the Texas Stars and all those things. So, uh, but I do have to redo it, uh, it over again because of some of some uh, some inconsistencies with with um, some other things. And I'll get to, I'll get to that in a moment. But I want to talk about the uh, good things about it, and, and that's and that's one of the good things is the, is the um, expansion part. Of, of the thing where you can either either make a you can either start with new expansion teams, you know, uh, or you can have them pop up throughout the the, the uh, your your franchise, and I love that. So, um, you know, I, I would I would say I think, I think I think see the game may be a little bit more fluid. You know, I think one of the things I talked um, that I did get I I had, I had the NBA Live demo. And uh, and I actually did actually buy by the game, um, 
But one of the things that I had, you know, one of the things that I could already see from the NBA 2K game that that was different from the other NBA 2 uh, the NBA Live game that was already different from the other NBA 2K games was that it seemed to be a little bit more fluid. You you could be able to, you know, go to the basket, go to the basket with with a little bit of ease without. You know, because usually back in the day, you would just go and you would, just, you know, go and you would run into the thing and then it'd be charging. But you could, like, now, you, it was a way that you can now move your player with the with fluidity without having to stop and start. And you could get to the basket and, and, and then, and, uh, and, you know, and finish or not. And that seemed to be something that was in a part of the prior two game games. But it's it's a little bit better with this one. This one I, I've seen when I'm playing, and I've played for a couple weeks now. And you can see that you can get to the basket a little bit easier. There's still times where they will stop, and and that's and that's fine. That's good defense. But now you have somebody who goes there, and he can, and and and, and, the, and real NBA players find a way to get to the basket from good defense. And now these players do too. And I, I think I like that. I really do. I do, do enjoy that. Um. So uh. So um. What I think my my biggest gripe with the game so far has been the ridiculous amount of in, in injuries that uh, occur. I, I think I have done I've done six franchises, just six or seven franchises, um, and uh, you know, like I said, I, I did like the first. Uh, you know, four, then I, I restarted it, and then I did make another three, and something like that. And, uh, and I'm going to redo these three and come back with another three, and then later I'll come back with my fourth once the roster is updated and everything like that. But just the ridiculous amount of injuries that happen through these things, and, and, they, and they happen, first off, they happen to all of the big stars. You know, they don't happen to like the like the eighth man off the bench or anything like that. And, and it's it's always someone that's something in, in six to eight weeks, and it's just like it's just this ridiculous amount of injuries. And then even our one team got four people who are injured. Four, I mean, it's just it's just it's ridiculous, and it it, it should not be that way. It, it's it got get to the point to where I actually had to. Turn the user injury frequency down to zero, and that should never be. I should never have to do that. Never have to do that. So that's something that they, if if if, if, if they can fix in the uh in, like in, like the any of the updates, future updates, I'd like to see that um I see that fix so that you know you get. I, I, I don't like to like change things like that, you know, change like the gameplay or anything like that. I, I like this thing to be real. It's it's not real where you just, you know, sure, sure there are times when a star player will go down, you know, a star player will go down, or, or, or a star player will get hurt, you know, something like that. A star player will, you know, something, something will happen to a star player. And they will be, you know, down for a little while, you know, two or you know, you know, two or four weeks, something like that, you know, or it's, it's something that is just, you know, minor. And then there are major injuries like, you know, TLC and everything like that, TLC, ACL. I'm thinking about wrestling. Uh, sorry, uh, ACL injuries and things like that, and broken hands, and other things, maybe even concussions. But those things I have, but she does have just like sprained ankle, six to eight weeks. I mean, it's just it's frustrating, and it, it's kind of it kind of, he doesn't feel realistic. So uh, if you guys can fix that, you know, you want updates fine. If you can't, then this next year just go back to the way you had it in 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 two K seventeen with the injuries or something like that, where the injuries were. Sure, the injuries happened, but injuries weren't, um, they weren't happening all the time, 
you know, because these just seem to happen to, like, every every game, injury, injury, injury. And there's always the big name stuff. And, you know, and so, find a way to get back, back to that 2K17 thing, only with the injuries. Only with the injury and frequency and things like that. So, but, yeah. Uh, that's my thoughts on NBA 2K18. I'm gonna give it definitely a four and a, uh, four and a, four and a half stars. Review it is totally a, a, an amazing game. It always has been. I think it always will be. Um, so I, I wanted to do this also talk a little bit about NBA Live 18, and um, and is, they just don't. I, I don't. I don't think you know. Obviously, they're trying to create another game that's going to be different from NBA, you know, NBA 2K thing, so that people will buy their game, right? And things like that. And like I said, the gameplay is good. So if if, if you are a person that is is about you know, you know gameplay and things like that, I think you're going to be good. We're going to be fine. But they just, at least for me, it is a, it's it's a non factor. I, I I'm not going to be I'm not gonna fall for the banana and tailpipe again. I fell for it when uh, when Russell Westbrook was it Westbrook? It was, it was either Westbrook or Lillard. One of those two was on the cover. I think it's NBA Live 16, something like that, 15 or 16. And I got it, and it, it was trash. Uh, and and um, same thing with this. And uh, it's just there's no no creative player. The creative player is the one, and the one is a stupid thing that should not even be in the game. Why are you, you know, same thing with my player on 2K. Just stop with all of this other junk, side junk, and just focus on making the games better, and making the gameplay better, and making it realistic, and things like that, and doing like this. Focus on, like, making the other options, the creative player options, and things like that better. Uh, uh, you know, focus on you know, doing some of the other things. It's not ridiculous, you know. So yeah, to me, NBA Live 18. You know, I I I, I, I want to because I am I basically I was always an EA Sports guy. I was all any game I get was EA Sports, right? I, it was the you know Madden, and it was NBA Live, and it was their baseball game uh, when they created one. I even got the hockey game a few times. Uh, so it's always been, so I kind of have this almost this 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 need to to want uh, EA Sports to to be you know you know to be an EA Sports guy you know I really had that need but it's it, it is only it's really only going to be a for man I think so um, well I, I probably will do I probably will give MB, uh, the NBA Live franchise another chance somewhere down the line, but I, but I'm not gonna buy. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to read all the things and find out if you can create a player or not before I can buy it. And if you can't, I'm not even gonna buy it. And I'm not even gonna where's my, where's my thing about it. So whatever. Having that said. NBA 2K18 is the one you should buy. It's the one that you should get. It's a four and a half star game. Totally awesome. If you are in between, should I get this one or this one? Get NBA 2K18. That's the better game. According to me, AJ Trippin. That's what this is. This is the word according to me. And I'm saying get NBA 2K18. Alright everybody, post your comments down below, tell me what you guys think, if you guys have already got the game, if you have played it, tell me your thoughts about it, what you like, what you dislike, something like that. If you get any thoughts about NBA Live as well, put those down in the comment section as well. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Tripp signing off. As always, be good to each other y'all, be careful out there, and I am out.